In Washington today, an about face from former White House strategist Steve Bannon now willing to testify before the January 6th House Select Committee. Bannon claimed former President Trump invoking executive privilege kept him from testifying, but now says Trump has released him from that order. However, an attorney for Trump told the Department of Justice that the former president never claimed executive privilege for Bannon. All this playing out as the committee investigating the deadly insurrection gears up for a seventh public hearing tomorrow. ABC's Justin Finch with a look at the latest developments tonight. Former White House strategist Steve Bannon making a last minute pitch to testify to the House Select Committee investigating January 6th. What he's doing now is, is kind of like a bank robber who's robbed the bank, got caught, and the week before his trial says, wait, wait, I'll give back the money. Federal prosecutors suggest Bannon is backtracking strategically as his contempt of Congress trial for ignoring their subpoena for the January 6th probe is about to get underway. Bannon saying this on January 5th. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. For months, the committee sought his testimony about the planning for the rally that became a deadly riot the next day. Bannon claiming he can now cooperate after former President Trump lifted an executive privilege order preventing his testimony. But new court filings show Trump's attorney, Justin Clark, told the Department of Justice that at no point did Trump invoke executive privilege regarding Bannon. Tuesday's committee hearing shifts focus to connections between Trump, his associates, and right-wing extremist groups like the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers, which were allegedly among those storming the Capitol on January 6th. Former Oath Keepers spokesman Jason Van Tatenhoe set to testify tomorrow. Members of the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys now facing charges of seditious conspiracy in relation to the attack. Tomorrow's focus on extremist groups comes as the University of Maryland finds of the roughly 800 people now facing charges in the Capitol insurrection, about a third have previous ties to an extremist group. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.